Under the terms of the Convention of Individual Ministerial Responsibility, individual ministers are considered to be responsible to Parliament for the policies and administration of their department and for their own personal conduct. The Ministerial Code contains broad guidelines establishing appropriate ministerial behaviour which obviously provide ministers advice regarding the performance of their ministerial duties, but the Code is not a legal document and its precise implementation depends upon the interpretations of the Prime Minister. Like many aspects of British government, in the absence of a written constitution, much of the doctrine depends upon custom and the convention and not strict rules. The strict version of it was undertaken by Sir Thomas Dugdale in 1954 in the Critchell Down Affair, when he resigned over an issue in the agriculture department that occurred before he took office, is now not seen, and many ministers hold on to office beyond the terms of the doctrine. And when they do resign, it is often more for political reasons than on the grounds of parliamentary accountability. Individual ministerial responsibility means that ministers introduce their departments new legislation and explain and defend in parliamentary debates, and that they speak in other parliamentary debates, answer oral and written parliamentary questions, and appear before select committees on matters affecting their department, and do so in a way that defends their government. So, for instance, Andrew Lansley introduced the Health and Welfare Bill, bill against the Commons, has um, appeared in front of the Health Committee to defend cuts in the NHS budget, and it's his department that has to respond to queries and back entries on the details of his department's work and how it affects their constituents. The Convention of Individual Ministerial Responsibility applies also that a minister should resign if there has been serious policy and or administrative errors in his or her department, or if he or she has been guilty of serious personal misconduct. Examples of resignation over policy errors and personal misconduct respectively include the resignation of the Foreign Secretary Lord Carrington and two junior Foreign Office Ministers, Humphrey Atkin and Richard Luce. Their apparent failure to date the likely Argentinian invasion of the Falklands in 1982 and the resignation of the Conservative Minister Cecil Parkinson in the mid um, 1980s following revelations of the details of an extramarital affair with his then secretary Sarah Keith. More recently, Peter Mandelson, the former business secretary, was obliged to resign twice from the cabinet, first for failure to reveal details at a personal loan, and then for attempting to fast track an application for British citizenship from an influential businessman, although he was later exonerated from any wrongdoing in the latter case. Most recently, Liam Fox is the most uh, recent casualty, having been seen to be too closely linked to a close friend, Adam Wardy, who accompanied him on trips abroad in his role as the Defence Secretary. And we might say, obviously, the ministerial code and question of where it's been broken. Uh, it was Jeremy Hunt, the Culture Minister, who's been the subject of that, uh, but so far has not resigned.